Welcome to Flight Theory and Aerodynamics uh, once again. Today it is about uh, airspeed measurement. How is airspeed measured in flight? Well, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you there's a system on an aircraft that takes care of that and it contains two elements the first one is the pitot tube and the second one is the static pressure port i'm going to tell you right now that uh, the pitot tube is a total pressure port has a total pressure port and the static pressure port is just for static pressure. So we know that the the air is a free stream is a free stream until it reaches the nose of the aircraft. So but as a, free, as a free stream, it has sea level standard day elements, okay, such as velocity, velocity, standard sea level, standard day sea level value for velocity V equal 100 knots for static pressure we're going to call it P1 P1 equal 2116 PSF and dynamic dynamic pressure still talking about sea level stand for four sea level standard day conditions Dynamic pressure is is uh, Q one equal uh, thirty four psf, and the total pressure is which is H total pressure is static pressure plus dynamic pressure. I mean. 2116 PSF plus 34 PSF give you a total pressure of 2150 PSF. This is the this is the, the pressure that that enters the pit, the pitot tube total pressure. Okay. So so we can safely say that the pitot tube port measures total pressure which is 2150 psf okay and that uh, total pressure goes uh, is ducted into goes into the inside of the diaphragm a diaphragm is a very small well i would say a very thin piece of material that is flexible it is flexible so the the any any amount of air will deflect it in a, in in a, in a certain direction so that that total pressure that goes into in goes into the pitot tube travels to the inside of the flexible thin flexible diaphragm. Okay, that's the total pressure. Two thousand one hundred fifty psf. Okay, so 
the name of the velocity is uh, the, the velocity at sea level for the free stream is uh, 100 knots. So now we know we have let's say we know that, that that's the pitot tube. But, but I want to say something about the pitot tube. For the pitot tube to to give us to give the pilots or the mechanics the 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 the, 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 uh, if, uh, the mechanics accurate reliable readings it must be placed at the location on the aircraft where it is directly 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 pointed into the relative relative wind relative airflow if it does not if the pitot tube is placed is located at a location other than that so the pilots will not get accurate readings either for the for the for the uh, airspeed or altitude so that is that is that is that is that is a that is, that is a must the pitot tube must be located okay where it is directly directly pointed into relative wind and we know we know what what the what relative wind is is the relationship between between the airflow and the wind in the wing and the winds of the aircraft okay let me let me say that again relative wind or airflow is the relationship bet between the airflow and the wings and the wings of the aircraft okay so the the in this case in in, in let's say in normal in normal flights in normal flights the rel the relative wind is is parallel to the flight path and in the and in its in in the up in the opposite direction okay so remember that the the relative wind the relative airflow is parallel to the to the uh, to the flight path but at the same time it is in the opposite direction to the flight path okay so you can see why the pitot tube is supposed to be you know located at a, at a, at a, uh, located on it on somewhere in the aircraft where it is directly pointed at the relative airflow okay now let's go to to the uh, static uh, st static pressure port the static pressure port only measures you know the sea level static pressure okay it does not involve any any dynamic pressure there's no the the static pressure for to in order to get accurate information from the static pressure port it must be located on the aircraft at a location where the, the, the local velocity 
is exactly is exactly equal to the free to the free aircraft to the free airstream aircraft velocity okay so so now the that p1 which is the static pressure 2116 psf is ducted goes into the chamber you remember the the the, the diaphragm the diaphragm i talked about now the the static pressure is ducted in a chamber outside in a chamber that's, that that uh, that surrounds that diaphragm so now we have two pressures the total pressure that flexible piece uh, I, uh, I talked about and now we uh, in the, the total the total pressure the total pressure which is 2150 psf from the pitot tube and now on the that was on the inside inside of the di diaphragm now on the outside of the diaphragm we have the static pressure 2116 psf now we have two pressures okay two pressures now what we need to do now is to determine the differential pressure and the differential, the differential the differential pressure is the total pressure coming from the measured by the by the pitot tube on the house on the inside of the diaphragm on the inside of the diaphragm minus the static pressure measured by the start by the uh, by the pressure static board on the outside around the diaphragm and you get you get a ratio you get pressure ratio which is in this case 2150 psf minus 2116 psf give you 34 PSF, which is actually the dynamic pressure ratio, and this 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 is that pressure ratio is the one that act on the on the uh, diaphragm on the inside of the diaphragm. The little piece, flexible, push it, pushes it, deflects it. What you get, you get a reading on the IS indicator that reflects the deflection of the of the uh, uh, diaphragm. If the pressure ratio pushes the diaphragm too far, that will be that will be reflected. That will be shown on the IES indicator, and that will that will not be a normal indication. So I hope you understand how airspeed is measured in flight uh, I wanted to go over the different uh, uh, airspeed indicators but uh, the video will be too long so next time I will talk about uh, IS uh, CAS and, EA, and EAS and, and you will you will understand why sometimes the pilots 
have to do some corrections in, uh, in relation to those uh, to the airspeed in flight. So meanwhile, take care.